yeah, definitely stuck. We've got the pork on in the air fryer at the moment and uh, we can just make sure the caravan's not going to burn down. Well, we definitely should have taken the beach track back because the campground road is super soft. What have you done, Bryce, with my beautiful throw hugs? Oh, we can call them beautiful. <laughs> We are heading out of Kenilworth today, other way, and we're just backing out of the site because we drove all the way in. It's a pretty easy one to navigate. We've got this whole area all to ourselves. So this place said it was booked on hip camp for like, we got the last site or something, but there's been nobody else around, which is really cool and it's been so peaceful. This is unreal. We have our caravan off road, like it's not on a road. This is unreal. Oh, he's taking the mickey. <laughs> Don't know if you can see that out the window or not, but we are well and truly in Gowana country now. We just saw a big one on the side of the road. So I'm going to be staying in the caravan from now on and Bryce will be out exploring on his own. Yeah. Do you reckon goannas eat little dogs? Don't say that. That's really <laughs> nasty. I'm hoping they don't, but... No. He's pretty big now anyway. Yeah, he's getting too big. Hey, juice. <laughs> he's like, shut up, I'm asleep. Oh, sorry to wake you. He's been asleep for the last hour and a half. <laughs> He actually doesn't like engaging with us in the car at all. He's just always asleep, which is really good because it means when we get somewhere, it's always playtime. Hey fellas, how's it going? Oh, I should say, and ladies. It's rude of me to assume gender. <laughs> oh, here we go. So we are just arriving to Blue Gums River Retreat. This is a camp we just found on Wiki. Is it a hip camp or is it just a just a Wiki camp? Uh, it's just a Wiki camp. It's our own actual camp. So yeah, they've got their own website and stuff. So you book through them, um, and it seems really good. So we're gonna go get set up. Alrighty, we're all set up at camp. I got a load of washing on. Chelsea's doing some training with the dog, and I'll show you the site. So we had the pick of one and two. This one was a bit greener and it had a little bit better of a river view, but I mean, you're still right on the river anyway, so it doesn't really matter, but check this out. Yeah, come on, come here. Come on. <laughs> All right, well I turned into a race with Chelsea and you won, good boy. Well, we were gonna have a really chilled afternoon and just hang out at the camp, but then realized we forgot an essential piece of uh, dinner. It's, uh, it's a topping and it's a bit of a controversial topping, but it is pineapple. We've got to get some for pizzas tonight. So we bought some pizza bases and all the toppings, well, we thought all the toppings um, to do on the weather tonight and forgot the pineapple. So we're gonna head 15 Ks back into town to go get some. It'll be worth it. <laughs> Let us know in the comments, is pineapple a yes or a no for pizzas? Or is hot pineapple good? See, like I like just like hot pineapple on burgers, fried yeah. pineapple, anything like that. So let us know, would you drive 15 k's to go get some pineapple for your dinner? Gee, she's a bit pricey. You got black and gold or what? I don't think they've got black and gold here. We're a bit out of luck. Some Australian pineapple pieces.
we left Blue Gums River Retreat near Maryborough this morning, did a bit of a stock up at Woolies, new gas bottle, fuel, all them fun things. And now we've had the spontaneous decision to drive to Woodgate. Now, you might think that we are missing Harvey Bay, but we're not. We are actually coming back in about four days time because we have a house sit that we're doing there. So we're just trying to kill a little bit of time in the area before that. And we thought, well, Woodgate's only an hour up the road and we loved it last time we are there. So let's head back. We have arrived at Woodgate, it's such a beautiful day, sun is shining and you can see the bright blue ocean behind me. This place is so pretty. Now Bryce is just on a little buggy ride out in the park with one of the one of the ladies who works here because he's gone to find our site. Because we caught up last minute, they managed to squeeze us in in a random site in the park. Um, but yeah, we're very appreciative because we only did call about an hour and a half ago. So yeah, I'll show you when we get all set up. All set up and time for a drink. It is another stunning day at Woodgate. So we got here quite late yesterday afternoon, about 3.30. So we didn't really do much. We just set up, had a drink and took it easy. But today we're all about exploring. So we got up fairly early, had our coffee outside and now we're going for a walk along the front path. And then we're gonna head down on the beach a little bit later. So just down from Woodgate here, um, you can drive on the beach and then you can head all the way to the point and you can see the other side, which is Burham Heads. We've got really good tides today. So it's low tide about midday, which should be perfect for some beach driving. Good boy. Come on. Right Good boy. So we've been putting heaps of time in training him. So whenever we stop, he sits like this and then we either give him a treat or we get him to lay down and just so that he knows that he can't run off. Sit, lay down. Good boy. What is going on here? Hydraulic ones too. Someone's just over-engineered some chairs. A springy chair. They didn't have so much water on them, I'd sit on it, but I'm gonna get a wet, wet bump. Well, we didn't even have to put the tire pressures down to get on the beach yeah. yet. <laughs> yeah, super easy, super simple. Just drive straight on, and it's rock solid along here too, so easy going. We're just going to cruise up the beach for a bit, have a look. It is nearly low tide, so we've got a little bit of time to explore, maybe set up and have some lunch. Caught behind Venetian blinds Out of reach for the city lines I was a test dummy. The beach is still rock solid, so bring it down. <laughs> I've been running east, looking for something, digging deep since '99. What I thought was gone was sitting in my pocket. Alrighty, so we actually did like breakfast, lunch, and dinner all in one hit today. We made some pizzas and we had some like yogurt, granola and strawberries for breakfast, nice and healthy, look at us. And then we've got a pulled pork on for dinner because we thought, well, while we're going, we may as well get everything done. So we just bought a camera to watch Juice for when we leave him in the caravan for short periods of time. And it's actually working out awesome because we can keep an eye on the pork at the same time. So I'll show you this. We've got the pork on in the air fryer at the moment and uh, we can just make sure the caravan's not gonna burn down. It's actually got motion sensor, so if it sees anything, it'll um, give us a notification. So it's great for cooking, and it's also gonna be great for when we've got 
juice in the van. And it's going to be great to see if we've got any paranormal activity in the caravan while we're gone. No, <laughs> no way. Oh, that's my fear. I'm going to like look at it on my phone and there's going to be a demon there staring back at me. <laughs> So we found a little random truck off the beach into the campground um, behind it and we still got high tire pressures or normal tire pressures and it's a little bit soft so we're filming in case we get stuck yeah. then we can put the thumbnail as we nearly bogged the new ranger i don't know <laughs> we nearly died we nearly died stuck in woodgate <laughs> national park not even on the beach <laughs> oh we're in full low we should be right but it's soft. Yeah, it is a bit soft. Where are we even going? Uh, up here and to the right and the right, exploring. Bryce is going for a bit of a walk up the track. We can see another four wheel drive. We don't know if they're just putting their tire pressures down or if they're stuck. So we've pulled off as much as we can to the side of this track and Bryce is going down for a look. All right, little update. I can see Max tracks and I can see a lot of sand flying in the air. I think they might have like a camper trailer or something on the back. And they are definitely stuck. Well, we definitely should have taken the beach track back because the campground road is super soft. Here he goes. That's a big trailer. You do not care, do you mate? Hands off the juice, like he's just loving it in the car. We're tearing through some of these tracks and oh, he's woken up because I called his name. But he's been asleep the whole time. We've been bouncing around and giving it a bit of a squirt. But I mean, we probably should have done what that guy had to do then and put the tire pressures down and then you can just sort of coast through it all. But yeah. We're a bit uh, lazy. A bit lazy, yeah. <laughs> And we have hit oh, a couple of bumps really hard and he's still been fast asleep. <laughs> So after we got out of that sketchy, soft, sandy track, we've come out to Theodolite Creek. So this place doesn't look super pretty this time of day, but when it's high tide and the sun's in the right position, this place is like crystal clear water, super blue. We are gonna chuck a line in because we are on the incoming tide, hoping to get some little whiting. They've got lots of winter whiting around this area. Tonight we have treated ourselves and we are out at the Woodgate Beach Hotel. Looks really nice, super dog friendly, and they do a courtesy bus from the caravan park as well if you do want to come here. Apparently they even take dogs on the courtesy bus, but we didn't want to be that cheeky. We thought we would just drive ourselves and just have a couple of drinks. Bryce has already had a look at the menu and they've got a cob loaf. How strange, a cob loaf on the menu. So uh, that's what I think he's going to be tucking into. Nice little entree size one, it'll do really good. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So how's that cob loaf sitting this morning? Um, better now. <laughs> had nothing to do with that early morning walk he did to the yeah. bathroom. That wasn't to the bathroom, it was just getting out and stretching my legs. You right there puppy? So we are going for our morning walk at Theodolite Creek. Now we were here the other day when we went for a bit of a fish, didn't catch anything sadly. It does look so much different on high tide than low tide. High tide, super beautiful out here. Low tide, not so much. How nice is this? It's so blue, so clear, so calm. What a day. After a bit of a thunderstorm last night, they still forecast some stuff today, but doesn't look like it. So we're in Harvey Bay at the moment, and yesterday we went to the post office and picked up a few things. Um, one of the things that we did pick up, well, I'm super excited for, is some rear seat covers. Um, they're pretty generic. They're just like a standard fit. Uh, I just got them off eBay. 
they're pretty much just for juice to not wreck the back seat um, and it's also to get rid of these very interesting uh, blanket things that Chelsea put in the back seat and uh, it's time for them to go. Check them out, they're a bit interesting um, but yeah it's time for these ones to disappear. You know what you've done, mate. You're the one that's dragged all of this in here. Look at all this, too. I mean, I should be blaming Chelsea, if anything. She should be the one out here vacuuming. What have you done, Bryce, for my beautiful throw hugs? I wouldn't call them beautiful. Um, this is a much better upgrade, I'm pretty sure. We actually had a couple of people ask us where we got them from, and I was like, see Bryce, they are nice. No, they're not. <laughs> Do not fuel her. Do not feed her with anything that gives her bad ideas like that again. But did they do the job? Not really. It was filthy back here. <laughs> that wasn't what the answer I was looking for. <laughs> no, I bet. <laughs> Well, they cover the seats, but we'll see how they fit in another week's time once they've warmed up and settled a little bit. They're definitely good for a uh, eBay job, hey? Yeah, temporary fix, I guess. Yeah. Not as good as the throw rug, of course, but... Oh, um... heaps better than the throw <laughs> rug. What are you, ki are you kidding me? <laughs> but yeah, that'd be good. I'm sure Juice will love it. <laughs> We are going to end this video here. Thanks so much for watching and next video we will continue looking around Harvey Bay. If you are enjoying it, make sure to like and subscribe. We'll catch you next Sunday.